Welcome to Battle Network Academy. In this video, we're going to go over bugs, how you get them, what they do, and some ways that you can use them to your advantage. I'll link the first part of Navicus Basics in the description, as well as having some timestamps for each bug if you're looking for info on a specific one. So what causes bugs? And how do you keep them from occurring? Well, one quick and relatively easy way to keep all bugs from happening is to use Bugstop. Bugstop is a plain program that will keep all bugs from occurring as long as it's touching the middle command line. You can place it anywhere on the grid, even in the outer grid. Just make sure that one tile is touching the command line. The other, more difficult and restricting way to prevent bugs is to keep all color tiles from touching each other, not using more than four colors, not using the outer grid, not putting plain tiles on the command line, and by not putting any pattern tiles on the command line. If you do this, you'll pretty much be shooting yourself in the foot. The biggest problem with doing this is that you're not making use of the outer grid. By not using the outer grid, you're effectively giving up on about 45% of your navi cust, and you won't be able to put as many programs and buffs into your cust, forcing you to make cuts on what you want in your build. There's also bug fix. Bug fix is a battle chip that removes all bugs for an entire round. This means you can run very buggy builds with lots of HP, attack max, charge max, and extra programs to boot, and not have to deal with any of the negative effects. The only drawback to this strategy is that you'll have to rely on your own luck to get the chip. If you get the chip turn one, you're golden. You can play the entire round without any negative effects from your bug. However, there's always the chance that you'll get the chip turn nine. Just something to think about. I've had it both ways where bug fix just doesn't want to show up, or I get it turn one. Bug fix also has some interesting interactions with some of the bugs, but I'll go over those once I get to them. Causing bugs during placement. As previously mentioned in Navicus Basics, bugs are caused when putting tiles in the outer grid, putting two tiles of the same color next to each other, having more than four colors in your cust, or having any pattern tile touching the command line. And finally, having a plain tile not touching the command line will cause a bug, as well as you not receiving the bonus that that program gives. There are multiple levels to bugs. Each level increases the bug's negative effect. Having multiple parts that cause the same bug and one cust will enhance the bug, making it more of a problem. For an example, I'll show you a navi cust that I made a while back. This is a bug build that I made specifically to use Buster Bug. So let's take a look here. I have an HP 500 and an HP 400 on the outer grid. With both of those there, I am getting a level 2 HP bug. I also have attack max and charge max on the outer grid, giving me a level 2 buster bug. Also on the outer grid is cust 2, giving me a level 1 cust bug. At the top of the navi cust, you can see the color box. Now, if you have more than 4 colors, you will get color bug. In this build, I have a level 1 color bug. And the very last bit to point out in this cust is the speed max. The speed max is touching the green HP 500, adding an additional level to both the buster and HP bugs. So in total, this build has a level three buster bug, a level three HP bug, a level one cust bug, and a level one color bug. I'll definitely go more in depth on building a cust in a later video. For now, let's finish up the basics bugs and their effects. Buster Bug. Buster Bug adds the chance for the Mega Buster to jam. When the Buster jams, it doesn't shoot anything, and it will make a click sound. Also, Buster Bug adds the chance for your Mega Buster to misfire. When it misfires, the Mega Buster will shoot a charge shot instead of a regular shot. And this effect goes away when you use Beast Out, and when you use Bug Fix, Bug Fix will remove the jamming but it will not remove the misfire. HP Bug. HP Bug is an interesting one. It has two parts. The first part is the Battle HP Bug, which causes Mega Man's HP to slowly diminish during the fight. Depending on what level HP Bug you have, the faster your health will drain. The second part is Damage HP Bug. When Mega Man flinches, or is hit with an attack that causes drag, the level of your battle HP bug will increase. A few chips that cause drag are Mag Coil, Grab Revenge and Grab Banish, and Elect Pulse 2. Cust Bug. 
cusp bug will slowly take chips selection away from you. Depending on what level you have, after a certain amount of turns, your chip selection will be decreased by one slot per turn, and it will stop at two chips. Really gonna wanna pull that bug fix early on that one. Charge Cross is able to halt the negative effect of this bug for three turns. Emotion Bug. Emotion Bug is a bit of a unique one. It's caused when you bug the humor or poem programs. With this bug active, Mega Man's emotion window will rapidly switch between normal, full synchro, rage, and tired. There is a 1 in 16 chance between each emotion that you'll go into rage or full synchro, allowing you to randomly dish out times 2 chip attacks. There is a table showing the exact probabilities for the emotion switches. I'll have it linked in the description. The drawback of this bug is if you enter the cusp screen when the tired emotion is shown, you cannot beast out. And if you use a cross or beast out, you lose the ability to enter rage and full synchro, negating the bonuses you get from this bug. And once your beast out counter reaches zero, you also lose the bonuses from this bug. Panel bug. With panel bug active, you create cracked panels when you're moving around. If you're moving off of a cracked panel, it will create a whole panel, even if you have float shoes. And it makes an absolute mess of the battlefield. Warp step. When you have warp step, Mega Man can only move between the four corners of the battlefield. It restricts your movement quite a bit, however I have seen it used to great effect, and it can allow you to dodge some attacks. Color bug. Color bug gives you a 1 in 4 chance of being confused, blinded, invisible, or invincible at the very beginning of the round. There are two levels to this. Level 1 gives you 5 seconds, and level 2 gives you 10 seconds. If you get invincible, but you use a cross or you beast out, you'll lose the buff. However, this only applies to invincible, and does not apply to invisible, confused, or blinded. If you cross into Tomahawk Cross on your first turn, the status guard cannot protect you from the confusion or the blindness. And that covers the bugs. I think that also finishes up the basics of the game. Next, I'm going to be getting into more advanced stuff. Building folders and navi cusps, cool chip combos. Also wanted to get some collabs in with the folks over at the N1 GP. Without them, I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, go give them some love if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.